on the other side of the latest news, you know, you saw, you know, Young Thug got his trial going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that shit crazy. And then one of his co-defendants tried to slide him some d- in the courthouse. I meant to, I saw that, I said, this guy, that that had to be set up. Is that Was that for real? I don't want to, I mean, it just didn't make no sense to me. Well, you have some people are saying that, that why was a co-defendant, because it was a co-defendant, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Why was a co-defendant allowed to walk around the court freely but 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 uh but Thugger can't. Yeah. You know, I I never have been in court. I went to trial in Atlanta. I I had to go to trial on ag, ag assault mm. and a few other charges. Back in the day, I came in for nine o'clock uh morning trial, wind up going to trial at one o'clock. Mm-hmm. Which I wind up, I had a, I copped the plea on right before I bluffed them all the way up until one o'clock. They were like, "Well, nigga, we're gonna take you to trial." So right before that, I took probation. Okay. Uh, they threw out my gun charges and all kind of other shit. Uh-huh. But I do know by it being in there that a motherfucker, because I'm sitting there, all, I'm there all day. I'm watching motherfuckers get 30, 40 years, you know, for all kind of shit, yeah. right? And I do know that co-defendants cannot walk around freely in a goddamn courtroom of that magnitude. Mm-hmm. So that was the that what stood out to me. How was he able to walk up on Thug and give him anything? That made me think, was this some shit that was set up already because the prosecutors are at Thug. Come on, let's be real yeah. now. They putting out false shit on him all the time. Somebody making calls from the jail saying that. Is he making calls or do you got him on lockdown? Which one is it? This still fool and counter too, man. Mm-hmm. Right. Like fool and counter man, like one of them counter, bro. It's just, shit just go like it. Ain't no telling what the hell I have in full encounter, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about from the jail to the courtroom. It, it, it's like, it's, I don't right. know. That that shit right there is totally different because it's so, it's so, so many eyes is focusing in on this case mm-hmm. to the point where he shouldn't have even been able to do that. Yeah. Right. So by him being able to do that, it's like, I don't, like, what, what are we supposed to think? Like, come on, bro. Ain't nobody, pay, ain't, listen, man. Ain't no, no trial, nowhere, yeah. nobody getting up and taking nobody no damn drugs, pills. Drugs. That's, that's, that's what, like, that's that, what. It that's it, no trial. I don't yeah. give a damn OJ, anybody, man. Right. Ain't, ain't nobody getting up passing OJ no another glove. Right. You feel like, <laughs> you ain't, you, that shit ain't going on. I'm dead ass shit, baby. I know. How you just gonna walk up to this man and get this man something? He said another glove. Exactly. Nah, it wasn't that fit. Exactly. The, the, the real one. Come on, man. You can't be doing no shit like that, man. Oh, man. No, I, that, it's starting to get a little haywire with that going on right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't. I it's like, what are we really doing here? And I think Thug was shocked. He was just like, you know, like, did, did this nigga just, just play me? You know, did yeah. they. You know, because like you said, all them, uh, you know, no telling what the the state, man, once they after you, man, if they don't made you out to be a monster, they want you. They, yeah, they, they want you. Home. They at home, so. They at home, bro. You know what I mean? I just pray for them because I, I don't like to see nobody in that, that kind of situation. Situation, right. And, exactly. You know what I mean? It's, it's just, it's crazy. Like, but but this is what niggas sign up for too, though. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is the game we chose. Yeah. So it's like when this shit going on, you really just got to be stand up. And when, when when he stand up, like the type of stand up he is, and you see all the shit that's going on around him, yeah. that's what these young niggas need to be watching. Don't right. watch Thug. Right. Watch what's going on around, around them. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because that's your fate. So you said, like, you know, they, they talk about everything else. That's, that's a good point right there. Don't watch just him. Watch all the niggas don't cop them please and stuff. You think a nigga love you? You think a nigga down with you? Let nigga fate, uh, you know, have a possibility of not seeing his children for the next 40 years. It ain't anybody <laughs> children. It be these bitches. Yeah, man. bitches are all our kids. Like right. we were talking about with, uh, with Big D. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey man, let me get that phone number called. Nigga, let you sit in there for about six good months. Yep. If you really want to get your see your kids and it's about your kids and your family and you really from this and you come in with a, a group of niggas, everybody shut the fuck up. We'll go home and see our kids. Right. If you really want to see your children, if we all want to go home, right, bro, just shut the fuck up, bro. But a lot of niggas scary though, Joe. They be in there with them, you know, they they them grown ass men. Niggas in there, goddamn forty. Don't did two two life sentences. I mean, two sentences already, two terms. And they in there with grown ass men. Now a lot of they kids. So now, and you ain't got no weapons. You ain't got a bunch of niggas with you to, that, that you can be able to talk. So they get under that type of pressure. And they, get, hey man, hey, I, I, look, I'm ready to go home. Cause niggas ain't from. Listen, they half really from of these that. niggas is yeah. not like that. Right. So this. That's a part of the rap culture we talking about. Like this rap culture makes you be like that until something happens. With that you know being I mean? said, who's gonna get in the booth and rap about what's going on right now? 
Y'all were saying? supportive when you was up at 1079. I brought you a record like that. I got a song on this on this album. I'm finna put out that, that touches on on that situation. Tell you me about your song, Jody, because this guy right here. Hey, really it, it, it it's, it's just it's just being real. It's, it's, I'm, I, I had a line like, "Who that said that they won't do that? Yeah, and walk right in the courtroom and go do that. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You you never know." You got to know what's going on with, with, with your surroundings, bro. Come on. You feel what I'm saying? Because now you don't know who... I ha, you, This should be your main homeboy that you've been around your whole life, damn yeah. near. He's not going to react to that situation the way that your new homeboy is. Yeah. You feel me? Because I could pretty much predict if you're going to tell tonight. I've been around you my whole life. Exactly. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. But a nigga that these niggas coming in with... And get money with it and, and, and start being bros and twins and right. shit. You feel me? I'm gonna right. start calling these niggas triplets. I'm gonna be the first one to start saying triplets. Like, but damn twin, these niggas is triplets. Right. Like, everybody acting like right. they came out the same womb. Right. We ain't come out the same womb, bro. Thanks. That boy came out a different womb. Yep. And if you can't pick that shit, I'm trying to tell you why I be by myself. I'm telling you, bro, I am the, the solo king for that reason. I'm never finna tell on myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm never finna make myself be a a dummy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you don't know how to roll and, and, and just do shit to to yourself and by yourself, you going people going to keep being in these kind of situations. Exactly. These these are the times to not have a lot of friends. Come on. Right. And even if you do have a lot of friends, fuck with them from a You know what I mean? Like you got to you got to know how to have friends these days, bro. Mm -hmm. This ain't how we came up. In our era, we probably wouldn't have told on nobody. Right. You feel me? There weren't too many niggas telling. Cause right. you might die by that shit. Right. Do you think that these young folks that's actually seeing this stuff happen right now is actually learning from this situation? No, or they, they not like, learning. you know what, I'm about to go ahead and be a crash dummy myself. No, they like learning. It's, have you, I'm gonna tell you, first four days is a reason, a lot of reasons for this shit too. Mm. Them boys don't do nothing but tell on folk. You feel me? And they try to put it on sick nine and all those shit, every shit. To be honest with you, in his situation, for him, that was the best thing for him to do. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Because you ain't like that anyway, and them niggas you around should've knew you wasn't like that. And all the shit y'all did to him, who, what the hell you think he, you think he gonna go to jail for y'all? Y'all right. done gave him the business. Yeah, so let's be realistic about it too. Exactly. Like even when he's speaking on them kind of niggas, like six nine type shit, like bro, that, that's a different type of telling. Now, do you think that it's gonna be a trend in hip hop now to where, you know, anything goes, you know, it's folks already gonna is. do the dirt and they gonna tell or they gonna it get out is. or whatever and that's just the new thing. Man, listen, bro. Your own people will stab you in your back. Mm. You feel? Mm. Yeah. People that you love and you done took care of and and, and know they need you. Yeah. And still uh, do something that they know is disloyal. Yeah. So when there's no loyalty. Yeah. You feel? That's why I wore this shirt today. This she say loyalty. I see that. I see that. Goddamn rock with whatever this dog is. <laughs> that's a, that's a dog. Man. He, he's screaming that shit out. <laughs> what, whatever this motherfucker. I don't know what kind of dog this motherfucker. I just know he's he, screaming out loyalty. He's screaming out loyalty, bro. <laughs> and who gonna be more loyal to you than you? Yeah. That's what motherfucker got to think about. 